we're back. <laughs> Newcastle United just keep on winning. Now, I know before you start, it was a pre-season victory, but it's still a victory, Carl, and Newcastle have beaten Rayo Vallecano by two goals to one. Um, I'm not going to kind of say this moment, this moment, this moment. I just kind of want your just a general assessment of things. How did you see it today? Pretty relaxed, to be honest, mate. Um, I didn't expect a, a goal that early, if I'm honest. Sean Longstaff with a, a, a lovely finish after the ball coming from Jake and Murphy. Um, Chris Wood scored the penalty as well. Um, I was a bit disappointed in Joe Willock in the first half and I thought at times Maxi obviously had freedom to go and do what he wanted to do, which you expect, but I thought his final product was pretty poor today. And I don't want to blast players because it's a friendly at the end of the day. And it was there to get us back in sort of motion for the Bournemouth game on Tuesday night. That's exactly what it was. It was a nice, relaxed, chilled out day. Nice to be back in St James Park. We've got a win. Not too much to grumble about. Um, a little bit worrying towards the end with Trippier and Maxi taking a couple of knocks. But, oh no, good day, mate. Good day. Yeah, it was a really good day. Like I say, look. You don't really know what it's going to be like these pre. I was going to say pre-season friendlies, but mid-season friendlies rather. But it was a strong eleven by Eddie Howe. Obviously, the bench was full of kids and Mark Gillespie. So and there was a behind the uh, behind closed doors game as well yesterday. So you would have probably seen likes of Almiron, Joe Linton, probably Dan Byrne playing in those in that in that game yesterday. But look, it's 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 a win. Keep the momentum. Um, look. Valakana probably didn't really test Newcastle too much going forward. I know they did score, but it was a known goal by. Uh, by Matt Target, but Newcastle are pretty comfortable. It was nice to see like Dylan Stevenson getting a, getting some minutes as well, Carl. But Jay Turner Cook as well. Yeah, Jay Turner Cook as well, former Sunderland player, believe it or not. Um, but just one thing, really, kind of going into Tuesday is that do you think Eddie Howe knows what eleven he's going with? Because I think I, I would imagine that majority that played today, I think, will start on Tuesday. In my opinion, maybe yeah. maybe Almiron, and Jolet, and Perry coming in for. Yeah, I was going to say other than those two, um, it was probably that sort of clear enough the, the majority of the lads that played today to get them warm and ready for, for Tuesday um, I don't expect to see the likes of Bruno much to be honest obviously he's come back a little bit later been given a bit more time off so I think um, today was the sole reason to get them ready for, for Tuesday so I don't expect to see many changes mate to be fair No no changes well very very few changes probably for the Bournemouth game but it's a massive game if Newcastle can get through against Bournemouth in the quarter finals and Man City Liverpool play each other so another big team is going to get knocked out as well My man of the match today I'm going to go for Sean Longstaff I thought he was brilliant in the midfield today um, I think he's just that you can tell he's got the confidence and I don't think you can drop him or Will. Like, I don't think Will was that was that bad. I he won the penalty as well in the second half, if you remember yeah, rightly. But um, no, Newcastle comfortable victory in the end, a two-one win over Rio Vallecano. It's Bournemouth on Tuesday night. I'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there. He'll get a ticket. He'll get it. He'll be there. He'll be there. He'll get it. He'll get a ticket. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting your comments. Who you thought the man of the match was? How do you think Newcastle can get on against Bournemouth? And who would you start? Would you start Jill and we start Almiron? Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV and we'll see you all very soon.